Hello again, this is Deepak Mishra and we continue with the question answer session. And uh, the next question is from Firoz Ahmed and he is studying in China, but it is he's a Bangladeshi and he wants to know, can I apply after MBBS from China before license exam in Bang Bangladesh? See, uh, I have said this many times, uh, Firoz, that you need to have a medical license. So once you clear your, once you complete your MBBS from China, you need to go back to uh, get a registration, a medical license from uh, your Bangladesh Medical Council or, or or a registration from China if they offer. I mean, I don't know if China offers registration to foreign graduates. So you can do that. And uh, if you, once you have a medical license, then you can very well apply uh, to Germany. Uh, Lord Bregolas writes, Hi doctor, I'm wondering if there is any salary difference between specialties. For example, it does not make sense in my opinion, a branch like neurosurgery is paid equally as dermatology. Uh, you are right, it does not make sense uh, if you consider it as a specialty branch, like as in this salary, what we have mentioned in my previous video about salary, that is about during residency period. And also it is about when you're working in a hospital. So if you're working in a hospital, everybody gets paid the same. It's like in India also, if they have, if they are residents, like somebody is doing residence in like a community residency in uh, community medicine, he is paid same like an orthopedic surgeon, same, same stipend. So uh, here it also in Germany, that if you are a resident, if you are a like post graduation trainee, assistant arts, uh, your salary structure will be, uh, you will fall in that structure, that table, which I have mentioned in my other video. So that is how it is. The, where it changes, uh, if you are a pathologist or if you are a, a gynecologist or if you are a trauma surgeon, how it changes is, it is when you become a specialist and you have your own practice, your own setup, then it changes. Or if you are working in some small hospital, uh, which is giving you a fartrag, a, a contract outside of the table. It is also there, the AT, it is called RTA, uh, Auser Tarif Fartrag, it's called. And then if you are good, if the hospital needs you, you can demand that, okay, if you're going to pay this much money, only then I'm going to work with you. And if the hospital actually needs you or likes you, uh, they will offer you that. So, but uh, the, during the period of residency for your assistant arts position, uh, everybody who falls, uh, everybody in all specialties fall in this table. So it depends upon number of years, like first year, then second year, then third year, it increases slowly that I have mentioned in that uh, video. But uh, the specialties are paid all the same. It's like in, that is the same in US also. If somebody is a say a surgery resident uh, in USA, uh, first year surgery resident is e paid equally as first year pathology resident or first year anatomy resident. So uh, the, the, during residency, the salary structure is the stipend structure is same for everybody. Uh, Meghna Bhattacharya writes, uh, Hello sir, is the structure and process same for dentists? Yes, yes, that I would like to reiterate here that the process and the structure is same for dentists as well. The only difference is that uh, the obviously the content of the exam will be different because dentists will be asked about dental things and uh, medical doctors are asked about medical uh, different things. So that will be, otherwise the process is the same. Only other difference is that about the, the end, like about the uh, positions, like for medical doctors, there are a lot of, uh, in the hospitals, they can get jobs in the hospitals or rehabilitation centers or uh, like uh, bigger hospitals if they uh, have vacancies. For dentists, the smaller hospitals, they don't have uh, vacancies for dentists most. They don't have dentistry department basically. So dentists have either a bigger hospitals or universities or the other opportunity in the small practice, like the private practice of other dentists. So these, those, that way, the opportunity for dentists that reduces in comparison to medical doctors, like MBBS doctors, but the, otherwise the process of getting a license and uh, getting registration and everything that is the same. So, uh, Hemraj Vani writes, Hello Dr. Mishra, uh, thank you for your videos. I'm a dentist, I want to ask whether Fox Prak pattern, see I have, Right, I mean, I've just answered that question that the Fakshprak proofung pattern and the approvation pattern, pattern will be the same. Only the content will be different. Only how the exam is taken, that will be different. Uh, but uh, the trial, the, the um, sections will be same. Raja uh, Padyan Zelvam writes, 
about medical student from Armenia trying to come to Germany. Is Armenian resident uh, language institute accepts um, since it's around a year the video got published. Is there anything new added to the requirement of temporary license? Where can we find it? Uh, Hello, yes, uh, you're right that the video which you have seen uh, that was like around a year published around a year and uh, things have changed over the period of time and that is why I have actually updated uh, uh, the video. You might, uh, you can see a video called updates in uh, medical license or Appro updates for approbation. Uh, in that video you will find the latest updates uh, about uh, registration of Armenia in Germany. Uh, Armenia I think it does not belong if the country is in European Union then it is then they don't have uh, a lot of problem then they have to show the language proficiency and uh, language the like Fachsprach proofing and then they get approbation but if the country is non-EU like other outside of Euro European Union then they have to take the entire process which I have been mentioning in all my videos that Fachsprach proofing approbation proofing and then your uh, education is valid uh, language institutes uh, the list of language institutes that are recognized by medical council in Germany see uh, there is no particular list as such what they say is that Goethe certificate is internationally valid so if you have Goethe certificate you are safe uh, if you are in Germany and you visit a private uh, course they also uh, even though even though they don't have uh, like their certificate may be recognized may not be recognized but they prepare you and you have to take the Goethe exam externally and then get the certificate so you have to go with the idea that your target is Goethe certificate and uh, other things are immaterial. The private institutes will prepare you but you don't have to rely on those certificates but because it might happen that you apply with those certificates to the medical council and medical council would say that okay no uh, we do not accept this one you have to get a Goethe certificate. So you have to, some also recognize TELC so Goethe is standard everywhere some take TELC as well. So. Then the next question is, um, is medical PG from India valid in, uh, valid? is medical PG from Germany valid in India? Uh, Dinesh Pawar, I am not going to answer this question. Uh, I do not want to sound rude, but uh, this is the question which I have in, which I've mentioned in almost every video. So you, it is your duty, responsibility, if you want to get the answer, visit other videos. And come up with something new, something, something original uh, that you want to know, something more specific which I can answer if i don't know the answer i will try to find the answer and give it to, uh, to you on this public domain on youtube do not ask ask the same questions over and over again naren uh, writes naren reddy writes i am studying finally in russia how to apply for pg uh, how to apply for pg is given in many videos a salary of 3500 euros that is not for a year it is for a month so i mean that would be too less if it's for a year Sashwat uh, Panigrahi writes, uh, what is MBBS tenure? That is duration of MBBS in Germany. Uh, Sashwat, I would say, uh, yes, duration of uh, MBBS is six years in Germany. It is like divided into two, two, two years. Uh, after every uh, two years, there is exam. And once you clear that exam, you go in the next level. Uh, and uh, it is important to learn German. The medical curriculum is in German. So I guess it is important to learn German. Otherwise, you won't, be, you won't get admission into medical uh, college in Germany. Uh, then the question is uh, Abhik Das has mentioned uh, the reasons I have in my previous video I have talked about uh, why uh, why somebody uh, chooses to move to Germany uh, some some specialist who is working in India or has already completed completed his post-graduation or specialization and they want to move to uh, Germany so I have actually um, stipulated or, or uh, uh, guessed what the reasons could be and here Abhik Das uh, has given his own points uh, I, most of which I find correct and uh, yeah Uh, Adi Reshi writes again. I need your help regarding MBBS in Germany. What are the basic requirements for admission? Other things I need to get admission there. Uh, Adi, uh, I am making these videos for you guys so that I can help you out uh, through those through these videos. And if you want personal counseling or guidance uh, regarding these things, you can visit uh, website of my company, uh, and uh, we will get in touch. My team will get in touch with you and arrange uh, uh, a guidance session with you.
So, um, yeah, um, this questions are, the questions are so many that I have to actually um, read and most of the times the questions are similar, like they ask similar things. Thank you for uh, Prashant Sagar writes. Thank you for information that you keep providing. Much appreciated. You are welcome, Prashant. Uh, he has two questions. He's an FMG uh, about to start B1. I want to know what is the procedure for or steps for being an interventional cardiologist in Germany. Overall, how is the uh, how is the guidance and teaching during residency? Yeah, this this is the question which uh, is good. Here he's talking about specific. He wants to be an interventional cardiologist. He's already on the way. He's learning language. Uh, overall guidance and teaching during residency program these are the things which people don't ask people ask all uh, same question all the time we are i'm going to take some time and uh, going to uh, like uh, take this question first of all uh, you are a fmg prashant so I, I guess you have already cleared your mci if not then you will be in trouble so you'll have to have to make those uh, make several other videos regarding the, that topic about M fmgs so if you are, have mci then you are in a clear then you uh, and since you are already doing B1, then I would uh, expect or I would uh, assume that you already have your MCI. That is after only after that you have moved ahead with your uh, plan. About becoming interventional cardiologist, uh, it is not very different as other branches. You get into internal medicine, you get then you get into like uh, internal medicine with cardiology branch, and then with cardiology uh, as and when when you move further with time, like five six years down the line, you start getting into interventions. You start doing interventions, and then that is how. So here it's not like a, a fellowship like in India. We have this DM of interventional cardiologist. Here it's not like that. It's part of your training. Once you get into cardiologist, it means interventional cardiologist. So uh, you will learn during further later stages of your career uh, about interventions. Initially, you will start with the basic work, which everybody starts internal medicine. You will also be rotated in different departments. Uh, you will go into gastrology, you will go to neurology, you will uh, learn different uh, like branches. And slowly, 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 after three years of your basic uh, internal medicine, you will get into cardiology. After uh, when around two and a half years of your cardiology or maybe three years after completing, you will get slowly more exposure to interventions. So that is how you will learn. The training will depend upon the, the then the next question was uh, overall how is guidance and teaching during residency training. See, I would say guidance is there. I mean, everybody guides you, uh, teaches you new things uh, or if you ask like, the, but uh, teaching like uh, like we have in other parts of the world, like you have uh, say classroom teaching that we don't have here. You, you may have uh, lectures like uh, presentations and everything, but that is also not very regular, depends upon programs to programs and institute to institute. Uh, so this teaching, nobody will, will take a class for you as such. That you have to learn on the job. You have to learn things, you have to read on your own, you have to ask questions, you have to read researches. So that is how you do not expect somebody to uh, make you sit and teach you some things. You have to learn that by yourself. It is expected of you. You are supposed to know the things, you are supposed to work accordingly, but they are not going to teach you because there in the hospital you are supposed to work because there's so many patients and so much workload that uh, nobody has time to teach you actually. So that that is basically self-learning process. You have to learn yourself. So about interventions, when you talk, uh, obviously they will teach when you are new, they will take uh, like slowly, slowly, they will, you will see first of all how it is done, then you will do slow, slow, like slowly you will do parts of that procedure, then with time you will be able to do the entire procedure and you will get in confidence when you do the procedure several times. So that was a very good question about uh, the prospects and the residency, uh, how it is. So I think Prashant, uh, you will uh, like... Uh, you how you found this answer useful to you then again there is mci compulsory for pg i'm not going to answer that anymore uh, andrika ujeni writes hello sir i'm ujeni studying in ukraine so i want to know uh, can i do my residency along with studying pg see uh, first of all andrika and andhirika i would say uh, the terminology Residency and studying PG, both are one and the same, are synonymous. So you don't have to worry about that. Both are the same. You don't have to do it side by side. You do it on the way together. It's the same thing. Uh, Abdullahi Ahmad writes, Thank you very much for your efforts providing us so much information. Please help us regarding medical residency, non-speciality clinics, uh, non-clinical specialties like patho and at 
पब्लिक हेल्थ सी अबाउट पब्लिक हेल्थ देर आर एम एस सी कोर्सेज यू कैन विजिट डार्ट वेबसाइट एंड गेट इन टू एम एस सी कोर्सेज फॉर पब्लिक हेल्थ अबाउट पैथोलॉजी एंड एनाटोमी आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर एट प्रेजेंट आई हैव टू चेक इट आउट बिकॉज द वेकेंसीज आर नॉट एज मच इन एनाटोमी एंड पैथोलॉजी बिकॉज जर्मन डॉक्टर्स और जर्मन फीमेल्स फीमेल डॉक्टर्स प्रिफर दीज ब्रांचेज एंड बिकॉज दिस लो स्ट्रेस ब्रांचेज दे प्रिफर दैट सो दैट टू टू कीप बैलेंस बिटवीन द फैमिली लाइफ हाउस हाउस एंड द प्रोफेशनल लाइफ सो दे प्रिफर दीज ब्रांचेज सो दीज ब्रांचेज आर लाइक फुल इमीजिएटली एज सोन एज द वेकेंसी कम्स अप सो एंड आई हैव नॉट आई हैव नॉट नोन एनी बडी हुआ एनी फॉरनर हु हैज गॉटन इन टू दीज ब्रांचेज सो फॉर हियर Uh, but i will uh, try to find out more information and i'll uh, provide it through this youtube channel all right then what do we have more do we have any more new questions i have uh, the questions are several here but um uh, payal bhattacharya wants to know uh, if the training for fast track perform in germany uh, which cities offer that there are many cities which offer or uh, like many many institutes which offer training for fast track proofing and kentness proofing uh, you'll have to just google it pile suleman uh, writes i uh, can i learn german language from nets and books i mean self study for c1 exam please tell your opinion uh, for c1 level i would say suleman it will be little difficult because i mean for basic levels a1 a2 that is fine but later on i believe you need some trainer you need to learn it from some institute or somebody so online some place uh you it's very difficult to learn everything on your own especially language where you have to be corrected by after every sentence after every grammatical mistake that you make you need somebody to correct you over there or give you a proper pronunciation or aussprache that they call it so i would uh, you can do it on your own you can try but uh, the quality of what you will the knowledge or the language uh, proficiency that you will gain that is very questionable so uh okay with this these questions uh, i end this video here it's already 17 minutes and uh, um, i'll with for more questions i'll make a new video okay bye bye take care